welcome back to my youtube channel this is my first video of my second series cook with me and in today's video we are going to be making the birria tacos the consomme and the chili oil and if you guys are interested in seeing how i achieve any of these recipes continue watching so guys first things first i'm going to be going over the ingredients that you will be needing for your consomme here we have our garlic, our one whole garlic. This is our chicken bouillon, our bay leaves, our one tablespoon of salt. And if you guys are wondering, I will be putting all of the ingredients in the description box below. You will need your chili pods. You can either use the Wahio chili pods, the California chili pods, or the New Mexico chili pods. And as you guys can see, I am using the New Mexico chili pods in the mild, mild, um, with mild heat. You can use any kind of stretch and cheese you prefer. Me, I'm going to go ahead with the mozzarella. And you are going to need your one and a half onions. So that's what I have right here, guys. That's about it for your consomme. If, if I'm forgetting anything, I'll just jump back in here and let you guys know. But we are gonna go ahead to the next portion of the video and I'm gonna show you guys how I add in everything to my to my meat, which is also, which is already, I'm sorry, which is already on the stove over there cooking. You will need um, three pounds approximately three pounds of chuck roast and two pounds of beef bone I'm gonna show you guys what that's looking like over there on the stove and I'll be back so guys this is what my pot is looking like I put my meat in already um, when the water started boiling I also have my beef bone down in there as well Show you guys what that looks like so here is one of the beef bones that i have in here i don't know if you guys can see that so that's that and then the roast is down there but it's like really heavy and i'm not gonna pick that up so yeah now we're just gonna go ahead with our ingredients guys this is crazy because i know it's gonna start splashing on me hold on let me see if i can do this So those were the onions. Here are the chili pods. These are the New Mexico chili pods. Um, I already prepped them. I took all the seeds out of them, rinsed them off thoroughly, and I just placed them back in this bag. They've been sitting there. I'm gonna go ahead and add these. Your whole garlic. I just took all the um, all the rest off of it. Your one tablespoon of salt. This looks like a lot of salt, but it's really not good, I promise. You're gonna need bay leaves, 10 of them. your chicken bouillon. Now, as you guys can see, I have the bouillon powder and the bouillon cubes. I've been using the powder, but um, I just wanted to use the cubes just because. You're gonna give that a nice little stir, get everything deep down up in there. Like I'm doing. I have a really big piece of um, meat in there. It's a lot of roast. But we love these tacos so much. <laughs> and that's about it for right now, guys. I'm gonna go ahead and continue to let this cook for a few hours. 
It um, usually takes me approximately like three hours for my consomme and my meat to be done. So I'm gonna let this, um, I'm gonna let this cook for about two and a half hours. And then when I come back, I'm gonna show you guys how I make my chili oil. Hey guys, I'm now getting ready to make our chili oil and I just want to shout out one of my favorite YouTubers, but you know what, I actually forgot the name of her YouTube channel, so I will be putting that down in the description box or I might just put a tag at the bottom of the screen somewhere but this is where I got this chili oil recipe from you will not be able to find this at any Mexican restaurant and you will not be able to find this pretty much anywhere the youtuber that um that I'm gonna tag in this she is she actually made this chili oil recipe and I love this chili oil recipe so I'm gonna show you guys the ingredients that you need to make the chili oil recipe you're gonna need bay leaves you're gonna need ground cloves black pepper oregano leaves chicken bouillon garlic powder and you will not need onion powder I don't know why this is down here y'all but yeah, so you will also need more of those um, New Mexico chili pods. This is some of them that I grinded up. And this is a just one whole one that I ripped up. We're gonna use this to infuse our oil. And this right here is all of these ingredients mixed in this bowl. So, um, yeah pretty much that's that i'm gonna go over to the stove and check on the grease right now you want to make sure that your grease is between hot and warm you don't want it to be boiling popping you want it to be between, in between hot and warm so yeah i'm letting my grease warm up now you will need one or oil grease for oil <laughs> you will need one cup of oil oh y'all oh don't pay attention to my nails they're all red and stuff because of the chili pot. So we're gonna just move past that. Like y'all didn't just see that, but yeah. So that's that. We're gonna move over to the stove. I'm gonna show you what that grease is looking like. And then we're gonna head over here to mix all of our ingredients together. And if you guys want the exact measurements for this, for this recipe, for the chili oil, I will put the exact measurements down below. So go ahead and check that out if you're interested. Here is my grease warming up. Don't mind my pot, guys. My husband, he cannot cook and he burnt some rice in there a few months ago. But, yeah. So, this is my oil and it's been sitting here for a little while warming up. And I don't know if you guys can see that, but if you ever wanted to know how you can check and see if your oil is ready to be cooked in, you could just put like something wooden in there. And if you, I don't know if you guys can see that, but if you see um, bubbles coming up, like how it is doing right now, that's how you know your oil is ready to be used. So just in case you guys didn't see the bubbles, I'm just gonna go ahead and put this in here. You guys see how it's bubbling around the, the wood? That's an easy way to tell if your oil is ready to be cooked. So like I said, you don't want your oil popping and boiling and stuff like that. You just want it in between hot and warm. So this is approximately one cup of oil. And now I'm gonna take this oil and I'm gonna move it into my cup and we're gonna go over there and mix the other ingredients in to make our chili oil. 
but I'm gonna go ahead and do that off camera y'all because this is kind of dangerous and I don't want to hurt myself so I'll be back you know what I actually forgot how to show you guys how I infuse the oil so I'm gonna go ahead and turn back on my stove just so the oil will stay warm put it on a low temperature so it won't start to do all that boiling and popping and stuff and that is why we have these this one whole um pot of chili we're just gonna go ahead and put it in there and let the oil and let it infuse into the oil now when you clean these out you want to make sure you get as many of the seeds out as possible you don't have to like be obsessed with it but yeah so as you guys can see it's infusing into the oil We're just gonna do this and let this cook down a little bit. You don't want them to get burnt or anything. Just let them cook up. You see the oil is trying to change colors. So I'm gonna let you guys watch me do this. Then I'm gonna take the chili pods out. I'm gonna dispose of them. I'm gonna go ahead and transfer my oil into my measuring cup. And then I'll show you guys how to mix in the rest of the ingredients. So now guys, this is what the oil is looking like and my measuring cup is still really hot. So you wanna be careful with that. This is our ground up bay leaves and chili pods. This is the, the seasoning mixture. I showed you guys how to do earlier. And these are the chili pods that we infused into our oil. We're gonna discard these so we no longer need those anymore. And I'm gonna show you guys how I mix this Now it's better if you um if you make it the night uh, one night ahead just so all of the ingredients can just like you know um, marinate together. It tastes way 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 better. But I didn't. It's gonna still be great now, but it tastes like really really good if you let it marinate overnight. So I'm gonna clean up my mess. So give me a second, guys. Sorry you guys, I just got a phone call. Um, but anyways, back to what I was saying. One of my friends told me that when you see, a lot of times that when you when you guys are advertised that um, that really deep red consomme, um, they put red food coloring in it to make it seem more red, to make it more appealing to your eye. So I'm just gonna, but I don't have red food coloring and I don't even, I'm not interested in doing that. That's too much. I just wanna eat, you know, I feel good. So um, I'm gonna show you guys what I do to get my consomme to be that deeper red color that everyone loves. So if you guys just stick around with me, I'll show you that right now. 
So I'm back again and I'm back with my blender. This is what I use to ground up my chili pods for our chili oil. And now I'm gonna use it to ground up these chili pods. So this is what I do to get my consomme to be that deeper red color without using food coloring and you know, crazy stuff like that. You're just gonna fish out all of your chili pods like so and put them inside of the blender it's okay if you get some onion it's okay if you get some garlic the more the merrier guys and if you guys can hear my son in the background he is in his room watching tv his tv is a little loud <laughs> so excuse that i hope you guys can see this i'm not sure but i'm doing the best i can So, and you also don't have to get all of the chili pods out. Just try to get the majority. It's not that big of a deal if you can't get them all out. But try to get them all out. just seen I blended up all of my chili pods and everything that I put in my blender and now we're just gonna go ahead and pour it back into the pot and then just to get the rest out you're gonna go ahead and put some more liquid back in there and then just you know Y'all don't mind my baby. He all in the background having a great time by himself. So guys, after after I went ahead, hold on. After I went ahead and grinded up all my stuff, as you guys can see, I poured it back in there, and now my consomme is. A lot deeper in that red color how everyone loves it to be you know and if you guys keep watching I'll show you how I even get it more pigmented later on in the video so we're gonna continue with my beef cook hey guys so it's been approximately like four and a half hours and this is now what my consomme is looking like um you guys see i didn't show you guys i ended up putting carrots in it because my um one of my favorite youtubers like i mentioned earlier who who made the chili oil recipe she also re um recommended that she put carrots in it she just said that's how she grew up eating it that's how her mother made it and she loves it so I gave it a try and I love it too y'all if y'all haven't had carrots in y'all consomme you should try it because it's absolutely amazing however my husband doesn't like them so um so yeah I just put enough for myself and that's what it's looking like now if you guys noticed that my consomme got a little deeper in the red you know the color is a little more um, deep that is because of the carrots guys so not only did I grind up the chili pods but also the carrots help with that nice red color also so now I'm gonna go ahead and take my some of my meat out of here and I'm going to shred it up and we are going to start making our tacos 
this is the best part and everyone's favorite part before we head over and start making our tacos i also want to mention you guys should go ahead and taste your consomme and just to see if the taste is to your liking if it is not if you feel like it needs something more you can go ahead and add a little um more chicken bouillon to it or um you know whatever the case may be So now we are finally here guys. I'm going to show you how I plate it and how I serve it. So 
So as you guys can see here, this is pretty much how I plate everything. I just put our lines to the side so we can use them as we please. Um, my bowl is the bowl with the carrots because I love the carrots. My husband really doesn't care for the carrots, but he loves the cilantro, so. This is how I plate and serve our beer with tacos and our consomme. Y'all, I am so freaking exhausted. <laughs> and then I like to go over the top with some of the chili oil. So you wanna just make sure you incorporate all the seasonings at the bottom. Just go over the top. Cause this oil is great. 